Hello everyone and welcome to my online YouTube ads. Today I would like to talk about the channel Swirly Underhill. This is about a person called Swirly Underhill. Well at least I think that's its real name but I'm not sure. Where he mainly does a segment called Rambling Reacts where he does reviews of Rooster Teeth's web series, Ruby. Unlike every other reviewers where they summarize some of the plot with minimum spoilers, talk about their opinions of it, or just react to it, his method is somewhat similar to the Nostalgia Critic, where he goes through the entire episode, talks about what happened with spoilers, and what he thinks about it, and makes some jokes or connect out of it, or explain what it means. What was really interesting about him was that he was able to identify the references and tiny details within the series that not a lot of people were able to notice. For example, he was able to identify a tiny mistake at the background of a scene where probably a lot of people failed to notice. You can see in the background, this shot, the animation accidentally stops a half second earlier than it should. Also, he was able to reference some characters or events to history, other anime, mythology, and other stories. For example, he explained the inspiration of Velvet's weapon by talking about the story that she was based on. The Velveteen Rabbit. Or a bunch of other toys with the Velveteen Rabbit. I think the camera copies those she takes pictures of and sort of almost like a summon rebuilds them as toys from the box, like some sort of magical 3D printer. You know, he does seem to do a lot of research on those things. Oh wait, he kinda did! Check out these comments! Also, amazingly, he was able to apply it to our lives. And that'll be a good thing. It kinda reminds me of... us! All of us! You go to any farm, you talk to your friends, how many of us know exactly what we want to do out of high school? Oh, oh, oh and don't forget about that scene where the flaming dark cannon was based on an attack from Final Fantasy VIII. Okay, okay, let's not get too carried away here. I think the viewers got the. Ma oh, oh, and what about the poop? Sun rounds. I think the best and funniest parts of his reviews was when he took some of the scenes and make it into something like a mashup parody to further explain his opinions and references. Ready? Damn! Perfect! If you don't want to watch the review just to see those clips, don't worry because he made separate videos of them, some of them extended even. Whenever he is not doing any Ruby reviews, which is for over a half a year, he does other things like episode reviews for other animes, vlogs, Let's Plays, AMVs, or almost awesome AMVs, and this thing called Ruby Character Profiling. Oh, and he used to be a cosplayer back in the days, and I think he still does that stuff that right now. And that is it everyone, this has been my online YouTube ad, and have a great day. <clears throat> oh, sorry.